So today I'm going to show you the new models for 2020, Aldis and all of their umbrella companies. So it sounds like whale heating and hot water system is all upgraded and the latest and greatest, they've been working with whale quite closely apparently. So for some features I like in this bathroom, the toilet system is slightly different to what I've seen and there's a, a button on the wall instead. So that would really free up some space. Somewhere to hang your towel afterwards, or your bath mat if you wanted. I think they were saying that the tiles, the lamination tiles are new. A couple of good hooks on the door. Ah, oh, good stuff. A place for your cup of tea in bed. And then to separate the area you've got, looks like a really big panel that's massive and what I like about this is having power options at the front of the caravan so you've got one socket and two USB ports right here that's good oh, yeah. so you just extend the kitchen so this is a new model huge fridge is it a combination? Yeah, a combination fridge freezer, but it's massive space. So no, no place to dump stuff when you first get in. And a huge cupboard. Good size, that's where the table's stored. It's a mm, smaller shower, not as large as some of the others. This feels like a good size. Nice sized bathroom. The door separating the bathroom area from the living area. So you've got everyone sleeping at the back. So it looks like a small double with the corner cut out and two bunk beds. Well, there's a rail. I just can't see where the curtain is at the moment. So you've got a big wardrobe with two rails and the bunk beds have curtain for privacy and you've got a couple of little places for a drink or which I like but I don't think you'd be charging your phone in your bedroom there's a place for a TV if you wanted there is actually a power under the bed I miss that completely I'm thinking this would be good if, oh I guess it is sleep, six, this must be a six berth caravan but I can already visualize this is where you would go to sleep and then you'd just leave the lounge as it is so the parents can stay up and have a couple of drinks while the kids have already gone to bed and then when the kids get up super early in the morning you can still be in the bedroom part and it doesn't matter. That's my theory. Ooh, L-shaped front. No window there. That's interesting. Ooh, ooh. Somewhere for your shoes. Oh, I like that. Well, I'm hoping it's for your shoes. But I wonder why they haven't got a window there. 12 volt and one plug there. I am personally a fan of the L-shaped lounge. Just, I don't know, it feels feels more like a home I think. I kind of wish I had an L shape. I'm going to assume this is also pet friendly. The fabric's really nice. I like the neutral colours they've got going with like a subtle pattern. So there's a side drawer. That's cool. I can imagine, would that be for cutlery? Yeah that looks like the cutlery drawer. And that looks like it'll open sideways. I think these are new latches, so you can just push down. Black circle sink. Couple of switches there. Dometic three-way fridge. Oven, grill, four hobs. Looks like three gas and one power. And then, so that just opens and swings. Doesn't latch. Oh, a circular, circular bowl. So this is a 
combination toilet shower or a wet room. I'm guessing these are little shelves for your cup of tea. Yep. Another place for a TV, I imagine. Plenty of space for a TV. The door is quite far back. This looks like a two berth. Big seating area, huge. And the bathroom. Huge bathroom. Absolutely huge wardrobes. Drawers for your clothes. And it's got two more railings. This has got a nice 12 volt, two USB and two plugs. Plenty of bench space. I do like the look of these microwaves, they're very swish. It's good. This one, this one feels massive, so long. Be interesting towing this one. It feels very homely, it's nice. Huge cupboard area. That's where the, st the table, fold down table is stored. I am liking these deeper sinks with this new splashback as well, a pearl splashback. Place to dump your keys when you get home. <laughs> Again, this cool, nice feature. I like that. It's a good size shower. And then you've got the door that can be opened to there. That's cozy. <laughs> oh yeah. Just you could just fit in the toilet area. You've got places for a cup of tea and bed, light switch, access from bed. That's oh, nice. Has a nice feel. So this one has the um, the unusual bedroom setup. So it's got the a small double bed with the corner cut out and then two bunks. That's a. Uh, I'm very curious to see what everyone will say about this layout. So this one has the curtain up for a bit of privacy for the parents. Nice finishes. I like the colour of the wood. Oh, and this has got my favourite. And then you could slide this along too. And a really nice sized shower as well. I like that. Good sized fridge. Huge cupboard here. Place to store. It's got the table there. Black sink. This nice patterned kitchen top and I'm guessing it's the pet friendly material. Ooh, this is another new model. L shaped seating area also doesn't have a window there with what I'm assuming is place for shoes. I'm hoping that is because uh, that makes me very excited. I do like spaces to just be able to put your book or your cup of tea or your phone or something down without having to get the table out. That's a nice feature. So the black circular sink. Apparently some of them have plugs down by your foot. So I probably missed a couple of plugs that were further down than I realised. If there are two people and one person wants to go to bed first, there is no divider, there's no divider door. Yeah, that's interesting. Shall we check out the bathroom? Oh yeah. 
It's a combination toilet shower. It's one of those beds that pulls out, so during the day you can get easily get around, but then at night it can be extended out. That kitchen bench feels like a nice length. Just having that little curve gives that extra feel of space. And it's a huge seating area. Nice cupboard finish. I like the lines on the cupboards. It just makes it, the space feel a lot bigger. And a huge, <laughs> huge bathroom. I like the feel of these. It's the Explore. I've just randomly popped into one. Doesn't seem to be a new model this year, but some differences I see are the fabrics triangles. It's got a nice, it feels really modern. They've got a Dometic three-way fridge. I really like the, uh, the light wood. I'm liking this fabric got a nice pattern to it. Ooh, I like that surface. That's a bit fun. They've got new liner on the ground and it's all one piece shower. So the sink's in black with a glass top. Three burner hob with the switches on the side there and then just a little, little oven. Nice cutlery drawer there, I like that. Oh, this one feels huge. This definitely has to be the eight foot wide one. <laughs> Lots of space. Ooh. Nice tiles. That's a nice bathroom. Well, I think I think I'm gonna say this is the end. It's been really interesting getting a chance to have a wander through all of these. So what do you think? What was your favorite new model? What were the features that you liked or anything that you would suggest changing? Leave a comment below.